Well, <clears throat> immediately I think of her red hair because that was one of the most striking features of her. And uh, she was uh, somewhat of a shy teenager. Uh, one thing I do remember, she didn't like to have her picture taken very often. But oh, yeah. She loved the water. As Kevin said, we lived on the lake, spent innumerable hours in the water, swimming during storms. We had a canoe and just she just loved being outdoors. And what did this Bobby Jack Fowler take from you and your family? Well, it really took its toll on my on our mom. Yeah. It devastated her and we didn't live there much longer after that. It was the innocence that was lost in that whole area. Nothing even remotely close to this had ever happened to anyone in our uh, in our community. In our community, yeah. It, it was just so far out of the realm of normal experience that, to be honest, it never occurred to me that it could happen to me. Just because it was so strange and foreign. Yeah. Unfortunately, in, in those 70s, people looked upon those type of things differently than they do now, you know, the, as far as getting counseling and that type of thing. It, it was just wasn't something you talked about yeah. back then. You just sort of tried to forget about it and move ahead with your life. And that's, I think that's what my mother was trying to do is just try and forget about the whole, whole ordeal. And uh, she, she, she moved away from the area. It must have been agonizing. Well, you know, it, myself, I can only speak to how I felt at the time and it didn't really dawn on me. It wasn't until I was probably in my 20s that, uh, that I knew that, you know, that I wanted some answers really, you know. I, obviously I knew what had happened, but I didn't know the scope of it and how it would really affect me later on at the time. Emotionally, it was uh, just a very unusual thing to have happen and, and uh, you got to just forge ahead, make it, make your way through and move on to the next phase of your life. And, and uh, both of us have reflected back as adults thinking like, wow, how did we, how did we even get through that? Yeah. Some satisfaction there. It is in some small part. And uh, thank God that evidence was preserved the way it was all these years. The RCMP did a fantastic job in those days and what they had. It was amazing, just simply amazing how it all transpired.